So now, Krishna was holding up this hill for seven days. Seven days and seven nights non-stop. And outside, what was going on? Indra was with all of his might. He was sending thunderbolts down. He was sending torrents of rain, unlimited, the type of rain that is sent at the end of the devastation of the universe, at the end of the day of Lord Brahma. And he was pounding and pounding. But, but actually, uh, we also understand that Mahadev, Lord Shiva, whose place is nearby to, in, on the bank of Manasi Ganga, is called Chakaleshwar, Mahadev. So at that time, Mahadev Shiv, he also wanted to serve Krishna. So therefore, he held up his trident above the hill. And in this way, all of the rains and everything were deflected by Lord Shiva's trident. And also it is said that he called for the Sudarshan Chakra of the Supreme Lord Vishnu to come and protect. Therefore he is called Shakaleshwara Mahadev. So underneath the hill, uh, Mother Yashoda was telling Krishna, Krishna, you must take some rest for some time. And Krishna told Mother Yashoda, no, no, uh, Maya, this hill, Govardhan himself, he is elevating himself in the air. I am not even doing anything. Simply Govardhan himself is holding himself floating in the air like this. <clears throat> so then, at, at this time, Indra began to realize that his powerful rays were having no effect whatsoever. Not even one piece of grass on Govardhan was being harmed by his rays. Uh, and then at that time, he began to realize, oh, I have come up against some greater power. What is this? I don't understand who is this personality. Actually, he really is the Supreme Lord. And now Indra, with embarrassment and great uh, and fear in his heart, he now subsided all the rains and all the <clears throat> all of the thunderbolts. And gradually, gradually, he went away. And now when Krishna saw uh, that everything had stopped, then Krishna told all the rich Vasis, Nanda Maharaj, Mother Yashoda, he told them, now everything is uh, finished, now you may all go out from underneath this uh, Govardhan and you may go back to Praja. And do not fear anything, Indra will not again come. So gradually now all the rich Vasis and all the cows is described just like flowing oceans of milk, the beautiful white cows of Krishna, hundreds and thousands of them, they get, began to filter out from underneath Giriraj Govardhan. And now, Krishna, after they were all out, now Krishna, just like a little child uh, who is holding a mushroom, Krishna very nicely placed Giriraj Govardhan back down in its, in its place. Jai Giriraj Govardhan Maharaj Ki Jai. So now into Dave, he was feeling very embarrassed and he realized that he had committed a very great mistake. So he approached Lord Brahma. And, and he admitted to him this problem that he was having. And Lord Brahma told him, Yes, I also in the past, I had some doubts. <clears throat> because when I saw that Krishna had killed this huge uh, snake, Aghasur, and I saw that, this, that the Atma of Aghasur came out and entered into the lotus feet of Krishna, I began to wonder, who is this little covered boy? And Foolishly, I also began to test his mystic power, and I stole his calves and power boys. So I made this mistake, and Krishna also proved to me that he is the supreme, but unlimited Bhagavan, millions and millions of times greater than my potency. So then he advised Lord Indra that Krishna, he loves the cows very much. Constantly he's performing go puja and he's massaging the feet of the cows. So in this way, if you bring a cow with you, it will be much easier for you to approach Krishna. So in the heavenly planets, there is the Surabhi cow, who is a great devotee of Krishna. So Indra went there and requested very humbly to Surabhi that she should come and help him to apologize to Krishna. So at that time, Indra Dev came with Surabhi just uh, near to where we went on Parikrama the other day and near to the place of Govinda Kunda. And by that, in that area at that time, 
Krishna, after placing Govardhan, he was walking around Govardhan and he was inspecting the area. So he went off into a secluded forest area just so that interdate could come at that time and he could come there without any embarrassment and approach Krishna. So when Krishna came to that place in the forest, Indradev came there with Surabhi, and Surabhi was in front of him. So now Surabhi approached Krishna, and she began to worship Krishna, and she began to also bathe Krishna with her milk from her udders. And now Indradev began to offer very beautiful prayers to Krishna, and these prayers are recorded in Srimad Bhagavatam 10th Canto, and he began to uh, apologize to Krishna and admit to Krishna that he had become overwhelmed by false ego, thinking that he was very great and powerful king of heavenly planets. <clears throat> but actually, he began to realize that the dust of Vrindavan is so superior to millions and millions of interests such as myself. And he fell down at the lotus feet of Krishna and begged forgiveness. And so Krishna, he forgave Indra, uh, considering him to be his devotee and told him that he should now return back to the heavenly planets. So in this way, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, he exhibited his unlimited potency and he proved and he taught lesson that no anyone that worships him, they have no need to worship any of the demigods. Demigods are far, far inferior to his potency and anyone who worships demigods is foolish. Because Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the source of everything, the controller of all controllers, Ishwara, Parama, Krishna, Satchidananda, Vigraha, Anadir, Adir, Govinda, Sarvakara, Karma. So anyone that worships Krishna, they don't need to worship anyone else. So Krishna exhibited this beautiful pastime to show this and to at the same time show the sweetness of his Brajalimas, how in every single way Krishna is attracting the hearts and souls of the bridge bhasis. So anyone that hears this pastime, anyone that narrates this pastime, anyone that takes part in this anakut ceremony, Srimad Bhagavatam is giving so many benedictions, they will never have to beg anywhere. They will never be in want. They will never have to fear anything. So in this way, Krishna, the Supreme uh, Lord of Braja, the Supreme Attractor of the hearts of all the Vrajras, He showed this great down and Lila, and today under the guidance of our Guru Dev, we have the opportunity <coughs> to also go to Giriraj and to perform the same Anakut festival that was performed 500 years ago by Sri Manavendra Puripad and to uh, pray at the lotus feet of Giriraj Govardhan, Nijanikati Nivasam Dehi Govardhanatvam. That please, Giriraj Govardhan, give me a residence eternally at your side so that I may see the beautiful pastimes of Krishna with all of his associates.
वो भी कला के रूप में पीछे से मुसलमानों के आक्रमण पर श्रीनाथ जी को पुजारियों ने भट्टी के अंदर में काट दिया और भाग गए बहुत वर्ष हो गए उसके ऊपर में पांच के बगीचे पेड़ पौधे सब टूट गए अभी करीब करीब साढ़े पांच सौ वर्ष पहले महादेवपुर पूरी पाजी ब्रिज में आए जबकि वहां पांडव ग्राम के करीब में भजन कर रहे थे उनको आदेश हुआ मैं बहुत दिनों से मिट्टी के अंदर में प्रणा हुआ हमारा उद्धार करके हमारी पूजा पर हमारे अंग गर्व हो गए उसको सुशीतल करो अभिषेक इत्यादि के द्वारा ध्यान छूटने के बाद में माधवेंद्र पुरी जी ने गांव के लोगों को सहायता लेकर और गए और जहां गोपाल जी थे उसका चिन्ह देख करके और उन्हें जगह खुदवाया बड़ी सावधानी से उसमें श्रीनाथ जी का चिन्ह उसको पहाड़ के ऊपर में पत्थरों का घेरा बनाकर उनको रखा और उनका भी शेख किया मथुरा के खड़ी खानी लोग सब लोग इसमें सुन करके ये गोपाल जी प्रकटित हुए हैं श्रीनाथ जी सब लोग आए दूध दही मधु इत्यादि के साथ में उनका अभिषेक किया इतने दिनों तक का अभिषेक किया और इसके बाद में बड़ी भूख लगी है एक महीने तक विराट अन्नकूट किया गया अन्नकूट इस प्रकार से बड़ी तो चला राज्य ने कहा जो सब तो चेक हुआ सिन्हा जी ने हमारा अंग अभी सुशीतल नहीं हुआ पूरी से वो चंदन लाओ बोले चंदन और उसे हिस करके हमारे अंगों पर लगाओ तब पूजा का भाग किसी के ऊपर में दे करके गए इसका इतिहास हम लोग शाम को विशेष रूप में वर्णन करें अभी हम लोग वो पूजा करेंगे मंत्र से पुजारी चला जाना वन महाराज पूजा का सामान आरती का सामान और पंचपात इत्यादि चमन कमर पंखा सब ले आना उनकी परिक्रमा करके पूजा करके और पंचवासी ब्राह्मण का पूजा करेंगे और फिर इसके बाद में दस बजे के करीब में ग्यारह बजे हम लोग यहाँ से अन्नकूट का सारा सामान लेकर गिरिराज जी के मंदिर में जाएंगे खास गिरिराज जी की पूजा करेंगे आरती करेंगे उनका भोग निवेदन करेंगे और फिर बारह बजे एक बजे तक लौट करके सभी को महापुरुष उनका गिरिराज जी का प्रसाद आज यही तक उन लोगों का समाप्त हम लोग जब गिर आए थे तो गुरु के साथ जा रहे हैं मां तभी बैठो हम लोग गुरु के साथ जा रहे हैं गिर आने को निवेदन करने के लिए लौटते समय बहुत से लोग कोई जान आ जाते गुरु के पास प्रसाद जाइए सोच ना सोच करके अच्छे अच्छे चीज अपने बैग में जेब में भर लेते हैं ऐसा ना करें और खाली गाली आ जाते हैं वी एव नोटिस लास्ट ईयर बिफोर लास्ट ईयर सो मेनी बिफोर दिस आफ्टर ये ऑफर ही मंदा हुए गए They have no fear that Prasad is going to Guru Dev and Krishna was. 
Teresa Steve, they put in their dragon pocket and almost empty basket they bring back to Premananda Guru. So everyone requesting to announce this no one should store anything. And Sus not allowed also. No one should steal anything after Prasad. All of us will come to here and Premananda Guru and other will distribute among us. Premananda Guru told them ये बोती बहुत सारे लोग बच्चे बहुत सारे लड़की बच्चे तो साथ भी आ रहा समय भालू भालू जीने से लेकर बैगे लोग पकड़े तो भले नहीं ये लोग मेरा तो ना करें अलीम किसी So in this last time, in this pride was crushed. Then when he said, took shelter of Surabi, then came near and offered worship to Krishna. Then when Krishna received the divine Govinda. Who always increases the happiness of the cows and the gobies of the gobies? His name is Govinda. I am part of the elephant carrier of Indra. Personally, perform the Abhishek of Krishna. Then, 200 years after the disappearance of Krishna's pastimes, the great grandson of Krishna, Arjuna, came here and re-established all the lost places of Krishna's pastimes. At that time, he established the Bhagavad Gita Sri Nanaji. Then, some thousands of years after, due to fear of the Muslim invaders, the Pujaris hid Sri Nanaji in the ground, just near the Sankajan Kund. Then, Sri Madhavendra Puri, he came to this place. At night time, he received the order from Sri Nanaji. Oh, I have been hidden under the ground, and my body is burning. Please re-establish my seva. Therefore, Sri Madhavan Puri, taking the local villages, but Sri Nanji had been covered by trees and creepers so long he was under the ground. Very carefully they extracted the earth and they discovered Sri Nanji there, or Gopalji. They established Gopalji on a rock, and again they performed his seva all the rich, rich, wealthy persons from Mathura came and contributed. Therefore, for one month they performed Abhishek and Anukut of Krishna. Every day they offered thousands and thousands of preparations. But still after one month, Gopal said to Madhavan Puri in the dream, My body is still burning. Please bring me some Malaya Chandan, some sandalwood. By grinding that and placing on my body, I may feel some relief. Therefore, today we remember all these things. So now we will perform some Gopuja, some worship of the cow, worship of the Vrithvasi Brahmanas. And exactly at 10 o'clock, more or less, from here, we will take all the ingredients and go and offer directly to Giridaj. So a special request, they want us, we should pray to give it out that wouldn't end by the have long and have to run.